Yo, what is going on guys, it's RPG Panda. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to open your NAT type in any Call of Duty. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do it on Black Ops 2, but this should work for any Call of Duty. And this is for PC, by the way. So, um, I'm going to load up Black Ops 2 on my PC, and as you can see, I have an open NAT type. Quickly, I'm going to explain what the differences are between each NAT type. If your NAT type is open, you have the best one possible. You should have no problems connecting to any servers or friends or talking through chat. If you have a moderate NAT type, you should experience a couple of problems connecting with other people. But if you don't have any problems, you don't have to do this tutorial, but I recommend you still try to get an open NAT type. If your NAT type is strict, by the way, you should definitely switch to open NAT type. Because strict, you could definitely... That's right, I said definitely. Because you could have a lot of fucking problems with strict. You can disconnect from your friends, you could not connect with other people... And you might not ever find a fucking server with strict, so that's why you want to go to open. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is on your computer, you're going to open up Notepad. And then uh, also you're going to type in CMD and hit enter. This is going to open the command prompt. So the first thing you're going to type in is ipconfig and hit enter. Copy all the information you get from the output and paste it into the Notepad. You don't have to, but I recommend so you keep everything in one location. So the first thing we're going to have to take a look at is my IPv4 address. Here's mine. And the next thing you're also going to need is the default gateway, which is this right here. Copy your default gateway, and you're going to go over here into Google Chrome, and just paste it and go. You'll be brought up to your router's login. If you're not here, make sure you have a default gateway login. Otherwise, you're not going to get to this location. Now the default username for the login is going to be admin and the default password is going to be password. If you don't find it, type in, in another uh, tab, type in the router you have, the model, and just type in username and password. People should upload tutorials and the answers to that. So if you have like a C6300 uh, Xfinity Comcast router or something like that, or modem router whatever just type that in and type in username and password but again the username is username and the password is password or it could be uh, admin and admin just look it up alright so now we can go down over here into advanced and then you're gonna go and look somewhere your settings are gonna look somewhat the same but what you're looking what you're looking for is port forwarding so first thing you're gonna wanna do is click enable then the next thing you're going to want to do is, let me just delete this really quick, you're going to add a new service, or just create a new service. So this is going to be PCB02, and this is going to be a UDP service type, and the server IP address, this is going to be your IPv4 address. So here's mine. Look around, maybe scroll down, and up, up and down, you'll see your IPv4 address. So mine is 10.0.0.16, so make sure it says 10.0.0.16. Mine's already put it in because it detected my PC's IP. The starting port is going to be 3074, ending port is going to be 3074, and just click Add. Okay, so then after you do that and you have enabled this, uh, it should be good to go. Once you go back and load up the game, let's go back online. As you can see, my NAT type is open. It was open from before, but if you're still having problems, the last thing you should try is go to Troubleshoot. And then go, one second, let me see. Go to DMZ, and then just enable this, and just put in the IP address of your device. So it will demilitarize the zone, and you should have no problems whatsoever. Mm, hardware. Where is it? Status. Mm, we're looking for UPnP. Right here. So it's in this device discovery. So enable UPnP. Make sure this is enabled. That could also be the problem. And that's pretty much it. So thank you guys so much for watching the video, uh, like and subscribe if you are new, and peace out.